Hello everybody and welcome to Writing Tip Wednesday where we talk about writing tips. Just tips. Just the tip. So today what I wanted to talk about was um, actually a comment I got on one of the Poetic Anarchy courses um, lessons in there. Which again, click join down below and click the Anarchy crew to join and get um, like three or four lessons a week and moving right along and we're going to start doing daily writing prompts apparently because that is a thing now but yeah so I'm going to read this question and I'll, and I'll keep it confidential since it's a members only but we were talking about um, writing every day and um, goals and stuff like that and um, this person says Right now, my main goal is just to be more consistent. I have been struggling to stay on one project at a time. I have so many fiction and nonfiction ideas, outlines, and drafts. This is probably... I would go so far as to say that this is the death of most writers. This is what makes writers feel like they can't hack it. This is what makes writers feel so fucking overwhelmed by the weight of all of these ideas that you feel like you'll never get them done and you'll never finish them. And then when you keep feeling this feeling and use the word never and never and never, it completely destroys your motivation to create. So um, that being said, I know this feeling more than anything. And here are some of the ways that I got through this. First off, um, poetry got me through it right out of the gate. Because with poems, I could write a poem, and I talked about this in the Poetic Anarchy video. Um, I could write a poem about a spaceship. And then 10 minutes later, I could write a poem about crawling through the sewers. And then a half hour later, I could write a poem about ordering a pizza. You know, like, one of my problems is, is I like so many different genres of things, and I get so inspired by different things that I'll want to work on something until another thing, another shiny object gets my attention, and then I want to start working on this. And what happens is, if you don't go back and finish an idea while an idea is hot you will lose um, motivation to do that thing. And the longer it, you put it off, the more likely you will never finish that thing. I have tons of like three quarter finished novels, tons of serials that are like, like, I don't know, like seven or eight episodes in. And then I just stopped writing it. And it's been years. And I keep going, I'm going to go back to that and fix it. And I probably won't. Like, I'm not going to fucking lie to myself here. So poetry is a good way to get these little ideas out. And then the argument will be, but this is a really good idea and I don't want to waste it on a poem. You're not wasting it on a poem. You can still write that novel. You can still write that series. This is now just another part of it. And if you want to get like real hardcore into marketing and shit, like write a bunch of poems about different parts of different stories you have. And then when you start a newsletter and start collecting emails to try to let people know when your new book's coming out, you could send these like little pieces of a part of everything to them as like, see what you get when you join my mailing list, you get all this exclusive content and all this other shit. Another thing is short stories are really, really good. And when you are wanting to just get through a like idea or something like that, you could do like flash fiction, you could do anything. So if you like go today, I'm going to try to flush this idea out with a 500 word flash fiction piece. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to flush this thing out with like a 3,000 word short story. 
oh God, I really, really, really want to write chapter 12 right now. I'm so excited to write chapter 12, but I'm only on chapter 5, and I still have to fucking get to chapter 12, and I don't want to write out of order because then, like, the editing, like, might fuck up, and, like, some things might happen, and I'll forget, and all this other shit. Well, just write a short story based on what you think chapter 12 is going to be, just to get it out of your system, if that's what you want to do. Like, you could do any of these things. Another thing to do, and I think this is why um, Black Star w was so exciting for me and why I loved it so much, is that Black Star has a huge cast of characters. There's like 30 or 35 characters in it. And one of the reasons that was, was because I took a bunch of different novel ideas I had and short story ideas I had and serial ideas I had and took all of these characters from all these different things I had and all these different stories and just changed the setting to Black Star. And now all of these characters could go through these stories I wanted to write and now they could also intermingle with other characters from other stuff I did. And that made it so easy to, like, seriously get through, like, maybe, like, 16 or 17 completely separate ideas I had and put it into one giant series of novels that was really fucking good. It was such a, a boom for me, dude. Like, that was just... Oh, it was fucking awesome. I absolutely loved that. So tr definitely look at what you have. Like, put all this stuff together and see if you could start merging any of these things together. That might be a way to get through that. Wh what, what did we decide to do here? Poetry, short stories, and um, putting all separate ideas together into one thing. So there you go. So that will alleviate a lot of the pressure you have. And a lot of you might be going, I don't want to waste a good idea on something like that. Like, I, I need to have this for the future, blah, 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 blah. You are always going to come up with new ideas. And your new ideas will always be better than your old ideas. And some of you are like, that's not true. Like, this one author I liked wrote his best book right at the beginning. And then just wrote shit after that okay well this could be your first book so take all of these ideas together put them together and write a book and then this will be your best book but just like that author that you are not talking about in this hypothetical scenario he had tons of other stuff to write about you just said so so you're not going to run out of ideas you will only get more ideas and the more ideas you get it's going to clog that colander called your brain. This is just getting weird now, so I'll leave you guys with that. If you want to join the Anarchy Crew, hit join below, click Anarchy Crew, and there's tons of classes and um, things like that in there. And um, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.